There we are, coming into the studio, the main room. This was the tracking room, main room. Go into the stone room now. Here's the stone room. There's one drum kit in here. Hey buddy, you got sound on that thing. And we got sound. Hey, oh. check this out. You see the music I've been reading? I did see that. Here, hold on. Let's see it. The thing is, as soon as you hit the drum, it's going to totally crap out my mic. What do you got here? You're reading some... Yeah. Some uh, Aussie yeah, shit. I was reading some Aussie shit. Yeah, there. can you reading. play? That's my inspiration. You want to hear how that one sounds? the baffles in the room because it's too dang reverby. What's what's the deal with that? Are you put splash deflectors. Oh, right. The ceiling isn't stone. I thought it was. Stone or Is that stone. just sheetrock? Uh, I don't know. There you go, sheetrock. So this is the stone room. There's too much reverb in here. I think they said it was 2.7 seconds, so we put these big pieces of foam in the corner to reduce the reverb. And you can see how well the ISO booths are made. Here, I'll come back over to Pat's angle here. Um, this is a whole line of ISO booths. I can zoom in a bit. Adrian's is the next room. No, no, no. Yeah, I got a new lyric for that song. <laughs> Monkey, 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 pool. <laughs> actually, the next ISO room is where I'm going to put my uh, my cabinets. I'm not actually going to play in this room, but my cabinets uh, will go in there. And then the next room is Adrian's. See Adrian's guitars through the glass there, through my shadow. And then the next room after that is Robert's room. Let's see if we can... So the next room... Now here's my room where I'm going to put my cabinets. I'm not going to play in there. Next room is Adrian's. You can see his guitars in there. The next room after that is Robert's room. And then you can barely see out of focus back there. You go back out. My ISO room, back here, where my cabinets are going to go. Got another ISO booth back here, which 
probably can't see without the night vision. Let's give it a night vision. Come on. Let's give it some night vision. There we go. Yep. Should I want to use that room? Probably won't. Might. We're actually going to reamp uh, my instruments back here. Um, in other words, I'm not going to actually be using my cabinets while we're recording. Back to the main room. Into Adrian's room. Here's the blue Beloid room. His setup. He's got uh, one wood wall and some soft felt wall and then his big glass so he can look out. See my setup out there and into the control room which is back there. You can just see Jeff come back into the control room past my rig. Here's Adrian's setup. Pedal board, amps, keyboard, hand sonic, two more amps, and guitars. And then here's the monitor setup. We all have one of these with our own. Uh, sub mixes. You can see how we each get to choose our own mix. Drums, Trey, Robert, Adrian, vocal, talk back and click. And then, well that's a weird angle. <laughs> that's a weird angle on that camera now. Well, <laughs> Is that a different camera? Yeah, I'm gonna tweak this camera. We can't uh, telescope or adjust that one from the control room, so I might just set it static somewhere. Oh, you mean so it's already set up where I can tap into it and it already yeah. looks at him? Okay, I got you. This is Jeff. Ahoy hoy. Jeff works at the studio here. He's helping me set up video so I can tap into the video system. Now, interestingly, I can't see... Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's what Adrian gets to look at. The camera. There's a camera up there. We'll come back to the main setup here. Let's go through the ISOs. Here's the Crimson board of action. Pieces we're working on. Or we'll be recording. And here's Robert's room. Cool. As it is right now, I'll feed you the one that's behind that. Great. Fantastic. Here's Robert's room. Robert's got the uh, the best view of everyone. We'll see here in a second. You can look through and see me and Pat. He's got a wood room with a curtain. And you can see Adrian right there. And he's also got his video monitor. You can see how the, I do the curtains here. You can open them or close them to change the, the ambience in the room. 
So here's Bop and Bobby's setup. His rack. Let me come around here. His rack. His mix. Let's see how Robert's looking at the mix here. Ah, oh, you can't really see. Well, anyway, there's Robert's mix. Robert's coffee cup. His rack. Pedal board. Synths. Blah, 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 blah. And there's one guitar back there. And then, so he can look through and see Adrian right there. And you can even see Pat in the stone room way back there. Or he can turn around, see me right there. That's my setup on the big room. And then I think. Well, he can't really see Pat this way. He'd look at his monitor if he wanted to see Pat. But if he turns around, he can see the wood room where Pat's toss kit is set up. We'll go in there in a second. And into the wood room. This is the wood room because there's so much wood. There's a whole wall, of three, four walls of wood, actually. Yeah, four walls and just this little strip of, of felt here. Curtains as well. They closed down the curtains on those back two walls to reduce the ambience. So there's two big walls of wood here. This one and over there. And here's Pat set up in here. Let's get a good fit of this because the drums look fantastic in here. Taos kit. Actually, there's two kits. There's the Taos kit right there with the big bass drum. Some cymbals. Box of sticks. Shakers and bells and whistles. Overhead mics. Snare drum on a bass drum pedal. There's another little kit over there. Oh, nice reverb in here. Pat's mix for this room. Let's get a look at this kit. Here. Now, what is that thing? We don't know what this is. It does something. Oh, I think it's one of those. And then even more little things here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh. What does she do? She does something, no doubt. Okay, and now let's go out to the big room. Another room mic down there. And out into the main room. the big and out into the main room. There. Have the big kit and stuff and my my station. So oh, look at my station. I'm in the middle. Well, no, I'm not in the middle. I'm kind of in the middle. The middle end of the room. I got my two guitars. 
There's the main 10 string war. There's the new 9 string fretless. Half fretless. 5 fretted strings, although I'm missing a string. I'm just using the fretless side right now. It's acoustic. Uh, instrument with piezos. There's my pedal boards. My laptop and my keyboard are going to go there. My mix. Let's see what Trey's got. A lot of drums, a lot of Trey, a little bit of Robert, a little bit of Adrian. No vocal. Talk back and click. And here's my rack. Um, we're doing a few different things this time. We're running through the distressor first before everything and then going through my rack. That's kind of my setup. Here's two room mics back here. There's the other one over there. Let's go look at Pat's setup. Don't ask me what's going on here. I have no idea. It's something to do with the bass drum. It's the world's longest bass drum. Here's the kit mic'd up. Here's the beatbox station. Here's the big overhead with toilet paper hanging on it, no doubt for sonic reasons. And let's have a look in here. There's the Mackie, there's his mix, let's see what his mix is. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, electronic, Sherman. More beatboxes, electronics, and then you can see the acoustics mixed in with the electronics. Electronics, electronics, acoustics, drums, cymbals, more drums, and, the, and then the V mixer down here. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? What do we got there? Unbalanced uh, I, I want a I this Let's have a look at the pedals, because the pedals are ridiculous. Let's get down there and see what... One, two, three, four... And I did try every combination of... Five, six. Six pedals. And there we go. And that's Pat's view. Here's my setup. I think I can actually see Robert through there. Actually, I think I'm the only one who can see in the control room. Is that right? The rubber can see in the control room. Okay, great. Going through here, back to the machine room. Not our machine, but the machine machines. Let's see, there we go. A lot of action here. Tape deck. What is that thing? What does that do? And into the control room. With our boys at work. Say hi guys. Ooh, ooh, hey, hey. Ooh. Who's this who's this guy? Who's that guy? 
Actually, that looks really cool, doesn't it? What's that? Oh, you just dig yourself. Oh, is that a beard? What happened look to that beard? Look how fucking cool I like. I had to cut yeah. that off. It really started to look dorky. I started loser. To, it's a loser beard. I started right? to feel like a loser. It looked good when it was only like four days. And then after that... So here's the video monitor in the control room. They're working on electric right now. Oh, I love that. The dance mix. Just shut the other fuckers off. Let's <laughs> start all over again. Guys, I got this tune. I can tell the control room is supremely big. I couldn't figure. Machines that work over there editing. Working on electric. Yeah. Getting it ready for overdubs. Lounge. That way. Back into the control room here. And there you have it, the trucking room.